Hey guys, it's Pastor Anna. I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday and you're able to get out and enjoy the day. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today for just a few minutes about what the Bible says about our words. In this time when there is just so much going on with our current events, when uh, we're looking at people posting on social media, or even how people are interacting with one another, or maybe even when we think about how we interact with others face-to-face -face on a day-to-day -day basis, I think it's important to remember what the Bible tells us about how we are to use our words. There are so many different words in the English language, like hundreds of thousands of words. And on average, a person speaks at least 7,000 words a day. So at least 7,000 words a day, average person. And of course, we all know people who talk a lot more than that. <laughs> Just is what it is. They like to talk. Um, the Lord knows that we talk and that some of us love to talk so much that specifically in the Bible, there are multiple verses that address how we're to use our words. For instance, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 1, it says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but hard words stir up anger. Proverbs 16, 24, it says, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. In Colossians 4, 6, it says, let your conversation always be full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. In Ephesians 4, 29, it says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth but only what is helpful for building up others according to their needs, that they may benefit those who listen. And those four verses, that's just a few out of the many that the Bible has about how we are to use our words and how we're supposed to interact with others. Are we being kind with our words? Are we being life-giving? It can be pretty easy to say whatever comes to mind, especially especially when we're in a disagreement with someone. <laughs> but God tells us to use our words to be kind, helpful, to give wisdom, and to bring life to others. And to put this into practice, the beginning step is to guard our thoughts, to take pause before we speak, and to check if what we are saying is in line with how the Bible tells us to use our words. Obviously, easier said than done for, you know, Especially if you're in a disagreement. I mean, emotions are high and you just want to talk and get maybe that little zinger off. <laughs> but we're not supposed to. We need to be in line with how the Bible tells us to use our words. So easier said than done. Easier said than done, for sure. We all struggle with this, I mean, including myself. But taking the time to intentionally measure what is coming out of our mouths is important as a follower of Christ. And Jesus set the greatest example of servanthood to the point of death. The Bible tells us to follow his example in the servanthood mindset, and that's including our thoughts and our words. Am I being a servant to others? I mean, if we're really walking the walk, if we're really talking the talk here, we're putting ourselves below others and elevating others. We're being a servant to others. We're humbling ourselves. And when that, when we're doing that in, in our thoughts and in our speech, that comes out as being kind, as being life-giving, as wind wisdom. It doesn't come out as little zips and zingers and sarcastic this and sarcastic that. But rather, having that mindset of servanthood, saying, I'm going to serve this person or, or my spouse or my kids, in how I talk and how I speak. And I'm going to be in line with how the Bible tells me to use my words. So just kind of a checklist that you can go through. Am I being a servant to others? Am I being kind? Am I giving wisdom? Am I bringing life to others? Or are my words, are they harsh, hurtful, unkind? Or do they tear others down? I want to encourage you guys to check your thoughts and words so that they are in line with how the Bible tells us to use our words so that we may better live out the gospel and shine the light of Jesus Christ to those around us. So let me pray for you before we go. God, thank you so much for, for knowing us so well, for one, and knowing 
that we need those verses in the Bible to show us how to be better, how to conduct a godly life that is pleasing to you. But also, Lord, you give us these these steps so that we can better shine your light. God, help us to be conscious of how we use our words, how we interact with others. Lord, teach us to be humble. And God, continue to teach us how to be a servant and have a servant mindset. God, you're amazing, wonderful. We love you so much. Bless everyone who is watching this video. Bless our church, God. And we can't wait to be with you one day. In your name I pray, amen. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great Saturday, and I hope to see you tomorrow, Sunday, at one of our three services. Bye, guys.